What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Robocraft. How to tear up your robot from tier 4 to tier 5. So, last time we left off we've got this little thing. I kind of like the headlines like this. Uh, but yeah, we have left off and I forgot to mention that get bigger thrusters and add more armor or the shields and then you would be fine actually. You don't have to add this amount or large amounts of plasma launchers or whatnot. But any case, so taken into account, you have a lot of tier 4 stars and a bit of RP to spend. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the crafting or building, whatever you like to call it. Okay, so first of all, let's remove some of these weapons. Now, this is just for in case you have RP to spend, robot points for those who do not know. Let's take this all off. So I'm just going ahead and buying, I was trying to work on a budget, but at the end of the day it depends all on you if you have played enough to actually get robot, or yeah, get robots, tier 4 robot points, coins, tokens, whatever, stars, whatever you want to call it. So first of all we're going straight into tier 4 armor. So I'm going to quickly change this guy up to tier 4 armor, you should do the same and we'll meet right back after this cut. See you guys soon. And welcome back ladies and gentlemen, as you can see I've changed, well not quite a lot, just the interior armor was changed into tier 3 armor and I removed those little prisms so that we can actually start making a buggy and not a, I don't know, some rejected car from the scrapyard. So first of all, we want to make a buggy, like so and like so, we want to raise it up a little bit. Just a little bit. But I warn you. I warn you. This thing will be very subjected to... Will be... It's, it's gonna tip easy, okay? It's That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's gonna tip very easy. I would rather build, let you build it on... Oh, these things haven't been changed yet. Okay, let's change that then. Uh, I would rather recommend that you build it like flat on the ground. Build the wheels from these blocks outwards with a... You know line to the body. This is gonna raise up the whole buggy by a little bit so that we have that look of a buggy basically that's what I'm trying to say. Okay we take that off, we take that off, do this like so and like so. Okay and assuming you've got your tier 4 wheels we're gonna add them. So basically just play a lot, get a lot of RP and a lot of tokens and then you can do exactly what I'm doing. And believe me, it's actually quite fun. You know, these different make or break designs. So let's go to the tier 4 prisms. Slap them on like this. I don't know why I just did that. There we go. There we go. Actually, we, uh, yeah, leave it like that. Take that one off, take that one off. There we go so on and so forth. No, you idiot, you idiot, what have you done? And just leave it like that, and then... Oh, we don't have those. Okay, let me quickly get some of those tier 4... What is it called? Tetras. Let's get some 2 about those. Actually, get a 10. I'm just buying over the amount I don't need, just to make sure if we do need that amount or not. So basically, we have just used 2. Just for aesthetic looks, you do that. That looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, now it's becoming to look a lot more like a buggy and not some kind of thing. Okay. So I'm gonna use these backsides and raise it up like so. Okay. And then, let's see now. Hmm, tier 4 plasma launchers. Oh yeah. This is going to be a plasma buggy, if you didn't know that already. So now what we are going to do is lift those up, like so, and like so. Actually just need that, those. Like that, that, 
that, like that, like that, like that. All right. I uh, just will quickly want to take a quick measurement. Okay, no, that's fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. See, that looks actually really, really cool. Not really, but looks cool. So we can actually take this off. All right. We go take some of these. Do this. Just same thing. Just move it a little bit forward. Okay. And I think it's going to clash with those. I'm not sure. I think it will. No, it didn't. Okay, that's cool. So there we go. And now we have to add the engines. Now, assuming you've got enough money or RP, you're going to add the engines. You earned them back. Two of those. As such. Then what we are going to do is take some of these prisms again. No, that's not what we wanted to do. We'll bring it out one. And like so. Then you take your tier three. Thrusters. Okay, that is also not going to fit. Actually, you can fit them here on the side. Like so. One there. One there. Okay. Now that is all said well and done. What you can also do... Let's go, let's check it out if it's gonna work. Like that. And like that. Now it's not really gonna work, but let's do this. Rather this. Okay. Because you kind of want to have a lot of weapons on. Especially with these plasma ones, you want a lot of weapons. Not the SMGs, because because of the cycling through the weapons, SMGs won't help you that much. Okay, I just wanted to check. If I would have placed one there, yeah, see, they, they would have clashed. So, best to do that. And they're not going to hit each other. So, there we go. That's that and that. Let's put on our little radar. Actually, here in the front. Front. Right here. That will do. Okay, assuming you've got radar jammers, you can actually throw one here on the back. Doesn't matter where, as long as you have one. Okay, and your aligner right here underneath where the guy is sitting. So as you can see, we're just broken tier 4, but, but, like I said, hopefully you have made the decision of buying a lot of RP points or like grinding a lot of RP points and you know getting a lot of stars to unlock no don't go to the Q depot you idiot okay tier 4 electroplates baby oh yeah these things are actually really amazing I, I use them even on my tier 8, 9 and 10 actually tier 9 robots as you can see they bring up a ton of your well, actually not a ton, but it actually brings up a lot of the um, tiers, tiering. Okay, then we take these electroplates. Actually, will it work this way? Yeah, it kind of does. So you can do that. And that. Actually, now take them off. Okay, then you take them and you look for a spot. Okay, that won't work. Will this work? Eh, no. Hmm. You can do that. Where is this one aligned? Well, just found a bug. Oh, wait, no, didn't. Hmm. Choices, choices. Very hard to make choices these days. Okay, um, what you can also do is this and this. And yes, you, in these little prisms, you can apply anything to it as well as like a normal block, as you would apply to a normal block. Okay, I just want to quickly actually check something. Will it go past? Yes, it might. Okay. Do that. 
And that, now remember why I had those open. Take your hardware. As such. And. As such. There you go. Pretty cool, huh? But we're still on tier 4. How, how can we level it up more? Hmm. Well, let's go through our things we can put on. You can add more thrusters if you really want to. You can really add more of those. You've got your tier 4 steering wheel. got your tier 4 thrusters. I'm just quickly scanning through everything. Tier 4 armor. Tier 4 plasmas. Did I really have five of those? I just quickly want to check. Yeah, that was five of those. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, what we can do is the following. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just figured it out. Sorry for the delay. Um, yeah, so what you do is... Like you did with the front wheels and the back wheels, what you do is here... It, in straight in the middle where you put that little guy is... You come down one, two, and add just normal wheels, okay? You add some tier four thrusters, two in the front, like there and there. Let me just quickly get that out of the way. There and there. You slap down some armors, like you can squeeze one right in there where the nose ends. You can squeeze one in there, and the same on the other side. You slap down a bunch of plasma launchers, then here on the side there, 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 and there. You hit some tier 4 thrusters even more. And then, as you can see, we are close. We are so close to tier 5. But how can I move to tier 5? How can I get there? Well, this is how you do it. It's going to look incredibly stupid, but still. You want to get to tier 5, don't you? You do that. And you do that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. You have just reached tier 5. It doesn't look like a buggy at all, but I promise you, from tier 5 onwards, you can go bonkers with, the, with your designing. You basically just want to get through the first four levels of Robocraft before you can let your creation set in. It is all Actually, it all depends on how you want to create a robot. It's your creativity. It's your idea. You want to do, uh, you know, your designs, how you want to do it. This is just a tutorial on how to get to tier 5 quickly as possible. Um, the most efficient way as possible Basically actually most more like as quick as possible, but this guy is pretty much shielded up from left to right bottom to top and It's I just want to ask you guys if you see any Disalignment here from these three if you guys do see it uh, Let me know in the comment section that like they're not aligned if this line was like the center and I move like this you know, is this center wheel like smaller or more way up? Because it is also a tier 4 wheel, just like these, but that one is not steering. I think that's why it looks different. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Robocraft. How to tear up from tier 4 to tier 5. And stay, stay tuned to see more tutorials on how to tear from tier 5 to tier 6. And that's going to be a woozy because that's not very easy. Remember guys, keep on battling, getting those robot points, get some tokens, tier 4, 5, 6 tokens, whatever tier you are. Imagine, just enjoy having the fun of this game. And from, like I said, from tier 5 on, we're gonna scrap all of this, we're gonna start a new buggy, making sure it's from tier 5 to tier 6, so it actually looks like a buggy. And enjoy the show afterwards, and remember, if you guys did find this information useful, please leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, eh?